Papa Doc's rarely seen in these streets of his capital, but today he's expected to show himself to the people of this dark land where a white face is unexpected, distrusted, hated. Where it seems he needs adequate protection, even if he's only inaugurating a new building a few hundred yards from the presidential palace. This'll be the event of the year for poor Haiti, which has less to celebrate than any nation on earth. For it must survive the guns of the Tonton Makout, Papa Doc's bogeymen, a murderous bunch of official thugs who live by extortion, by leaning upon their terrified countrymen, by spying. With Didi, Marie Denise, the oldest of his three daughters, Papa Doc takes his visitor to a clinic to show he hasn't lost his stethoscopic touch. She married a Colonel Max Dominique, who was later accused of revolutionary plotting. Nineteen officers were executed, but answering the pleas of his daughter, then pregnant, Duvalier spared Dominique. They were exiled, and as they boarded an airliner for Spain, her chauffeur and two bodyguards were shot before their eyes. The man who can order that still sees himself the gentle country doctor.